Greetings, dudes, dudettes, and dodecahedrons. I signed up for a subscription service months ago planning to make videos, and I kept waiting to have time to do them, and then I realized that they're already going to be way overdue anyway, so life is meaningless. Let's look at some stuff. These are the Evil Supply Company's Mr. Ghost parcels, and uh, if you're a person who's really into subscription services, this is one of the ones where you end up getting just about what you paid for. You're not going to get, you know, stuff that's way over the cost of the box itself. The box is um, about $12 with shipping. It comes to about $15, and it is designed to be used up within the month. So that's really nice if you enjoy getting things in the mail, but you don't actually have a place to put anything. Um, you could consider a subscription service that does consumables. Every box comes in a nifty folder. Oh, well, this first review is that it's already cracked open a little bit. Parcel number seven. Hello, this month we are celebrating friends, fiends, and family. All right, this is for November 2015. Friends and neighbors, hello. Have you ever watched bats fly around? What, with their little fingers and big beautiful wings? Knowing the folk who read these monthly letters, I imagine many of y'all have. A little bit of Georgia in there. I love the little devils and wanted to chat them up a bit. We keep a roost for any bats that pass through town, up in the clock tower in the village square. Many folk have been asking for tours, and I think it is a damn fine idea. Now, what you are going to want to do is arrive at the tower just before dusk. Bring a few pieces of fruit with you. Little, cr little critters love treats. <laughs> they will be getting home from their hunts and patrol, and you must remember that, essentially, they are coming home from work. Keep the noises low and the offers of affection high. If you hear bones creak or chains rattle, that is just Chuck. She's the tower's resident ghost for the season, tending to its inner workings. Bring her nightshade. Chuck loves treats, too. Kevin M. Sourdough, mayor of Peru. So I guess they got kind of a welcome to Night Vale thing going on. <laughs> anyway, so this is a stationary set, and each one comes with, I believe, two cards, an art print. They usually, some stickers, they'll usually throw in a couple extra goodies. So you get a little bit more, like a couple bucks more than what you pay for, which is nice. Really what you're paying for is a surprise set of unique designs every month, so this is a good way to get into writing letters. So the art print is a typography made to look like a cross stitch. Darkness bless this haunted mess. And you know, you could frame that, stick it up on the wall. I could put that next to my scary picture of a squid. blank on the inside. That's what the back looks like. And you get two envelopes, no postage, but you know, envelopes is pretty good. Oh yes, and you get two little sketchbooks. So this we've got sea monster and the mummy and an adorable little ghost with a skull buddy. The paper itself is decent weight. Feel It's kind of the same weight as sketchbook paper. Um, it's not very toothy. Got a ballpoint. So, that's what that looks like. This is a uh, carbon fountain pen. There's the fountain pen. Pentel brush pen. Let's take into that pretty nicely. And the Pentel brush pen doesn't have a very dark ink, so that I think is showing up pretty well. Sumi ink wash. Oh. There you go. My personal favorite, a crow quill pen. I'm getting tiny signs of bleed on uh, the wet ink, but it's holding, I mean, it's taken to that pretty well. It's got not, not quite a plate finish, but it is very smooth. We've got ballpoint. Fountain pen, brush pen, brush pen with wash, and then a crow quill, and then actual pencil on there. So I think you're set for any sort of sketching that you normally do. And they're adorable. 
Uh, these are pocket size. You can take them anywhere. And uh, they're bound with two little staples in the middle. And they come with a uh, will and testament on the back. Put your name, your contact, the dates you began and completed the book, which is cool. If this book is found and I am alive or undead, please return it. If I am dead, check one. Bury it with my corpse. Leave the book on a tree stump in a dark forest. Burn and then mix the ashes with concrete. Give to my second in command unless they were the cause of my death. In this instance, destroy them and then burn the book. Carefully read the contents to find the secret messages. This quest will be incredibly difficult but will change your life for the better the worse, or in unknown ways. Other options include throw into the sea, carry with you until you die, display in a place of honor at my shrine. Please do not test my willingness to exact revenge from beyond the grave. An evil supply company, bear it. better living via questionable morality. So that is the, uh... but yeah, two sketchbooks. And that's one reason why I was really into getting this package because I'm really trying to just sketch more outside of what I have to do for classes. So, this is a good challenge to yourself. Draw more things, write more letters or cards, and so that covers pretty much everything that you pay for, but as you can see there's still a little bit left in my uh, broken plastic envelope. I can tape that up. There's a little skull and crossbone design that says hugs and hexes. I got two of that. and. Um, these are like little vinyl stickers, like pretty good quality. So, and two adorable skulls that say, hi. I don't know, I had to check that. Hello. But they can never say it to them, to each other. There. There they go, together at last. We got some bonus stickers. Ta! Sketchbook cards and envelopes. Our delightful holiday themed cross-stitch art print. I would love to be someone who comes up with these every month, which brings us to December a month ago. And this actually has a nice little uh, sticker on there to show you what's what. As with most uh, subscription services, you can pause it if you want to skip a couple months or just one month. It's not, you're not committed for life the second you sign up for one of these. You know, you start getting them, you can pause it, you can start it again. It's as easy as ticking or unticking a box on their website. Staff is actually extremely helpful. I had some problems signing up with my service initially and they emailed me back and forth until we had it. They were very helpful. A plus for them. Uh, this is fantastic. <laughs> this is their uh, December envelope which I love. Yule tree on there. Little skull buddies. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of damage there. So nothing I can't put a little bit of tape over. It's still a functional envelope, but still something they might want to consider fixing. Village of Peru. City Hall. I think it's Peru. Peru. Friends and neighbors, hello. The Eldritch Lumberjack is a creature of death and reclaiming. Every forest or grove of significant size has at least one quietly toiling away, linking life cycles of countless creatures until it is their own time to pass. It is in this manner that dryads, guardians and life givers, and the lumberjacks often have a tense relationship. Neither can survive long without the other, but with clearly opposite goals. It is a difficult balance to maintain. To this end, we regularly host meetings between the two groups here in our tiny haunted village. Over teas and dandy wa dandly wines, grievances are aired, growth cycles are decided, and defenses against industry are discussed. The strengthening of machines, unchecked progression, and minimal effort to return materials to the larger cycle directly contrasts a forest's needs. To be clear, science is not the enemy, recklessness is. A great lesson for us all. To our guests, welcome. Hoot, hoot, hoot. With respect, Kevin M. Sourdough, Mayor of Peru, postscript, a dryad told me that hoot 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 was a traditional greeting. I have since been informed it is something of a dirty joke about mud in their language. She would not stop giggling long enough to provide a translation. If it can be found, I shall include it in a future public forum. So that's, that's fun. Fictional town, imagination time. Oh, I love it. Yeah, these two pinkish reddish books. 
there's a very distressed ghost on the front of each one. So I like that. Don't be sad, little guy. It's the same kind of paper, same very smooth finish. I like a toothier paper, but you know, I can't complain. It holds all of the inks that I tend to use, so that is good times for indigo. Ooh, we've got a wood grain envelope. That is neat. I didn't realize that the envelopes would be different every time. I'm for it. Oh nice, we have a dryad and a lumberjack. They're fighting. Ah. There we go. Those are some nice kind of uh, neutral cards. You can send these for pretty much any occasion, especially ones that involve lumberjacks. You know, again, they're blank on the inside, logo on the back. Nice nature, woodsy, monster-themed cards. All very good things. And I can't get over how much I love the print on this envelope. I was a little bit underwhelmed with last month's print, but I am feeling this one. So that is nice. It's like a little poster. I mean, obviously it's a little poster, but yeah, it's a, it's more of a, you know, engaging image. So I like that. Got a bunch of little ghosts hanging out, looking distressed. So what are this month's bonus goodies? It's hard to see. It's a tree stump and the white rings form a little skull. There you go. So I've got two of those. And then two little axes. Chop, 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 chop. And those have a little skull and kind of a curly Q design on them. So, chop, chop. I'm an adult. So, again, you get bonus stickers. Oh, right, yeah, let me hold this one up to my dramatic lighting source and see. Mm. I'm not seeing any glow. That doesn't mean it's impossible. I do know that they have a couple pins that glow in the dark. Yeah, I, I think it's just a very pale design. A really cool set of cards with um, textured wood grain patterned envelopes for sending. I love these. Two very cute sketchbooks. And uh, you know they still have the same mantra on the back as the other one. And a really cool poster print. I love, love the look on these little guys' faces, so there you go. That is a month's worth of stationary goodness. Not sure when I'll be able to make a video next. I hope you enjoy these very belated uh, reviews, and um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. I look forward to actually sitting down and making an intro video so you all know what's what. My printer has this thing where it turns itself on randomly and it does like cleaning maintenance and uh, little things which is awesome so sitting sitting in bed at night and all of a sudden you just hear something go and you're like the robot ghost that found me at last I hope you enjoyed these two extremely belated uh, unboxing and reviews I certainly enjoyed making them the only people who watch these are people who know me anyway so hi friends hi mom I'll write you a letter so Everybody have a good month, day, year, whatever uh, time frame seems workable for you, and take care of yourself.